Coinbase just launched their own layer 2 blockchain called Base. There will be huge opportunities on this chain in the next few weeks as Coinbase has a massive retail audience that can be brought in from the Coinbase app and the wallet. So in today's video, I'll show you how to bridge your assets to the base network and start swapping tokens on the main decentralized exchanges. I'll also show you how I am monitoring this ecosystem for the potential new gems coming in the next few weeks. Welcome back to the Virtual Bacon channel. My name is Dennis. I'm a crypto angel investor for the past five years, and I have invested in over 100 crypto startups. On this channel, I share my views on market trends and investment strategy to build wealth in crypto. First off, a quick primer on the base network. Base is a layer 2 network built using the Optimism OP stack. This means it's an optimistic layer 2 rollup similar to Arbitrum and Optimism. And you can directly access it by adding it as a network in your MetaMask wallet or other types of EVM wallets. Now, why do I think Base has a huge opportunity? The reason is very simple. Whenever a major exchange like Binance, Kronos, or Coinbase launches their own layer one or layer two network, it can get massive adoption. Think about the Binance Smart Chain or the Kronos network. When they first launched, they had a huge influx of new retail investors coming from the exchange and the wallet platforms to the new chain. These are people that would have never used Ethereum or other decentralized applications otherwise, but had new capital to pour into these networks specifically. The exchanges can also list the major tokens from their own blockchain network. This creates a good incentive for good teams to come and build on these blockchains. This is how we saw huge projects like PancakeSwap that started on Binance Smart Chain get listed on the Binance Exchange. Similarly, on Crypto.com, we had VVS, which was directly integrated into the Crypto.com DeFi Earn wallet, and then the VVS token was also listed on the Crypto.com Exchange. So through these partnerships, a DeFi protocol that is otherwise less known can become very popular by associating with the exchange directly. Now, the Coinbase ecosystem is poised to go this way because there's the Coinbase app and the Coinbase wallet that supports all kinds of Web3 applications already. You can mint NFTs directly in the app. You can swap, provide liquidity, do DeFi yield farming, lending protocol, all kinds of stuff just within the wallet apps. Coinbase already added support for the base network to the Coinbase Exchange app and the Coinbase wallet. And this is very exclusive. So far, the Coinbase ecosystem only supports three chains, which are Ethereum, Base, and Polygon. So here's how you can bridge to the base network and start using it. The first step is to add the base network to your MetaMask wallet. And the easiest way to do this is by using a website called chainlist.org. Once you're on this page, you can connect your wallet and you can search up for the network base. And here with the button add to MetaMask, click on it and your MetaMask pop-up will open and you can switch to the base network directly. Step two, we want to bridge our assets from Ethereum to base. So head on over to base.org, which is the official website and go to the bridge tab on the top. And this will bring you to bridge.base.org, which is the official bridge website. First, you want to connect your wallet by connecting your MetaMask. Then we want to make sure we are on the Ethereum network because we are sending money from Ethereum to the base network. And lastly, just type in any amount here that you want to bridge, for example, 0.01 Ethereum and click deposit ETH and the MetaMask transaction will pop up. You click confirm and the transaction will confirm in a bit and you will get the ETH directly in your MetaMask, but on the base network. One thing to note, when you want to withdraw money from base back to Ethereum, there is a seven day delay here on the official bridge because the base network is an optimistic layer to roll up. And this is by design a seven day period that is required in order to keep the chain secure. So if you don't want to wait for this seven day delay, you have to use a third party bridge. So head on over to base.org again and check out the ecosystem tab and scroll down and click on the bridge category. And here are the third party bridges available for base. A few bridges that I have used before are XLR, Hop Protocol, Stargate Finance, or Synapse Protocol. Here's an example, which is Hop Protocol. And using this, you can not only bridge from Ethereum to base, but also the other way around from base to Ethereum with no delay. So in order to bridge out from base back to Ethereum, you want to change the direction here so that it goes from base back to Ethereum. Then you want to choose the asset, which is Ethereum. And then we need to switch to the base network because we're now going in the other direction. And using this, just click send and your Ethereum will go from a base network back to Ethereum in a matter of minutes. Now, something else you can do on third party bridges is to save on the gas fees because on the Ethereum transaction, we have to pay around $10 just to get the bridge transaction across. 
But if you have Ethereum on other layer two networks like Arbitrum or Optimism, you can also bridge it directly from Arbitrum onto base network by paying very minimum gas fees. To do this, we have to use a third party bridge like Hop Protocol. And we want to choose the from chain as Arbitrum and the to chain as base. Then type in any amount that you want to bridge and click send and MetaMask will prompt again for you to switch to the Arbitrum network. And here you see the gas fees when you send this transaction is going to be very cheap. It's only 27 cents. Click confirm and you will get your Ethereum on base in a couple of minutes. Next, I want to show you how to bridge on the base network using just the Coinbase app. This is by far the easiest way to do it because you can buy Ethereum directly within the app and then you can withdraw it directly to the base network and you don't have to interact with a third party bridge. To do this, first, you need to have some Ethereum in your Coinbase account. Then you want to head on to the Web3 tab on the bottom right. And this is actually a wallet built into the Coinbase app. Next, click on the little wallet icon on the top right and you want to click on Add Crypto and then Add Crypto to Web3 Wallet Transfer from Coinbase. Then click on Ethereum, select any balance you want, for example, $10, preview the send. And here you see it sends to your Web3 Wallet, but it also lets you choose the network and click on the network tab and you see you can choose to send Ethereum to Ethereum network, base network or Polygon. Here you want to click on base and click confirm and the transaction will be confirmed in less than 10 minutes. This functions just like a withdrawal directly from the Coinbase app to your wallet. And if you want to use MetaMask, you can also withdraw from the Coinbase app to your MetaMask directly to the base network without having to go through Ethereum network first. The cool part about the Coinbase app is that it has the base network uh, decentralized applications directly support in the app. Scroll down on the Web3 Wallets tab and you have the popular apps here. You can click on the drop down and choose the base network. And these are the applications that's already on the base network. And if you have any custom applications that you want to access, for example, this base swap, Fi, which is one of the top decentralized exchanges on there, you can also just type it in in the uh, wallet browser there and click trade now. And you see you already have an Ethereum balance here. And this is on the base network and you can access it directly in the Coinbase app. You can also access the base network using the Coinbase wallet. In the Coinbase wallet app, you can buy some Ethereum directly from your Coinbase account or you can transfer it from your Coinbase balance. So click on Ethereum to transfer from Coinbase. And again, let's select just $10, preview the send. And here you see the same page again, you can choose the network and instead of Ethereum, let's use the base network for this transaction. Click confirm and within 10 minutes, the Ethereum will arrive on your Coinbase wallet, but on the base network instead of the Ethereum mainnet. And now you can start interacting with decentralized applications by going to the browser tab. Here you see the top dApps list. For example, let's go to Uniswap interface and in the dropdown, let's choose the base network. And again, on your wallet uh, browser, also choose the base network. So the wallet is switched to connect to the base network. And you see our Coinbase wallet already has some Ethereum in there, which we transfer over from Coinbase. And here you can swap for any tokens. Similarly, if you want to access any custom decentralized applications like base swap again, you can type it in directly in the browser tab and connect your wallet. And you see you have your Ethereum balance there and you can swap it for any other token. Let's try this out. I'm going to swap a little bit of Ethereum for this base swap token. Click swap, confirm swap, and you see the pop up open directly from your Coinbase wallet and click confirm and your transaction will be submitted. And in a while you will have your B swap tokens. So you see the power of this Coinbase ecosystem and its potential. You can not only access it from MetaMask for a DeFi power user, but you can also onboard to it directly in the Coinbase app or the Coinbase wallet. And that's why I think there's a lot of potential. So let's get into how I'm monitoring this ecosystem for potential gems. The main place to find the top altcoins on base network right now is on DEX screener. On the left side, you have the network choices. Click on base and you see all the top coins on base right now. Keep in mind, these are very, very early coins on the early days of the base network. And these are very degen. A lot of these will rug and even not exist in a couple of weeks. The first thing I do is to identify the main decentralized exchange that is legit enough that will not rug on a new chain like this. On the base network, the most legitimate exchange right now looks to be base swap. So you can choose the base swap tab here and you see all the tokens trading on this exchange. 
However, even though this is a legitimate project, its price has gone up 800% in the past week since the base network launched. So this is super overhyped now already, and I will not be buying this, and I don't recommend anyone to buy this right now. I'm definitely going to wait for this to calm down more and for more new tokens to launch on this decentralized exchange in the next few weeks to see if there are other gem opportunities. A couple places to monitor this. First is on the base.org official website under the ecosystem tab. I want to look for new projects, smaller projects that makes it onto this official list. Because Base doesn't have its own native token right now, people usually gravitate to the main decentralized exchange token as a proxy bet on the growth of the ecosystem. And you can find those on the DeFi tab here, but so far there isn't any specific decentralized exchange that is built just for the Base network. There are some major players like SushiSwap and Uniswap, but these are established projects that support all kinds of networks. Even BaseSwap is not on this list yet. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to wait to see if any new decentralized exchange project makes it onto this list. Another thing I'm monitoring is the TVL of different DeFi protocols. I can do this using DeFi Llama. So on DeFi Llama, go to the Chains tab here and then scroll down. You can find the base network at number 29th right now. TVL stands for total value locked. This is essentially how much adoption each DeFi protocol has and how much money is deposited in their smart contracts. Right now, BaseSwap is the number one DeFi protocol on the base network with $34 million of TVL. This is actually almost half of the entire chain's total value locked. Again, in the next few weeks, I'm gonna monitor this list to see if anyone else becomes very dominant. And the last part of due diligence I usually do for these new chains and their new projects is to look at their socials and for their potential partnerships. The easiest way to tell if a project is legit on a new network like Base is to look at their socials to see if they have major partnerships with other established projects or if the team it itself has built other projects before. So here is the base swap Twitter and you see they have partnered with Ethos Reserve, which is a legitimate project that is behind the old stablecoin and many other DeFi projects. They have also partnered with Overnight Fi, another established stablecoin project. And they have partnered with Squid Router, which is the native router of Axelar's bridge. So this is another established project. In order for base swap to make these partnerships, they have to dox themselves to the other partner teams so that they trust each each other. So even though the base swap team is not uh, clearly identified on their website yet, with these partnerships, we can kind of have a sense that these guys are legit. Using the same type of due diligence, there's another decentralized exchange project I'm watching called the Synth Swap. This is nothing new, it's just a decentralized exchange, but it's built by the same team behind CyberSwap on Arbitrum. This is significant because the Zyberswap was super popular during the Arbitrum season and it peaked at $18 and that means the fully diluted valuation was actually over $300 million uh, at the peak. So this was definitely a successful project and the main decentralized exchange that they have on Arbitrum is still running today. So these guys have the track record to be building decentralized exchanges and now they're expanding to base with a separate decentralized exchange called SynthSwap. So this gives me enough confidence even in these early stages to say, okay, the chances of this being a rug is probably pretty low. To find this synth swap, you can also go on DEX screener and here on the top right, you see this synth swap exchange and they have their own synth native token. But again, I have to warn you, all of these good decentralized exchange tokens on the base network has pumped a lot since the network launched last week. So definitely wait for the cooldown before jumping in. And I think there will be much better, much more legit projects launching on base in the next few weeks. I'll try to make a follow-up video to new Alcoin gems on the base network in the next few weeks. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see it. I think this base network will have a lot of opportunities in the next few weeks. Coinbase is pushing this very hard with their own grants program, and it will get more and more integrated into the Coinbase app and the Coinbase wallet. We might even see some of these new projects that's specifically building on the base network may be getting listed on the Coinbase exchange. That will be huge. 
And that wraps up today's video about the base layer two. If you like this content, follow me on Twitter X at VirtualBacon0X. I drop a lot more unfiltered crypto alpha that's too quick for these in-depth videos. I covered base right after the network launched with some of my early altcoin picks and my Twitter followers actually caught on. And check out our Telegram alerts channel just at VirtualBacon. We drop a daily market summary with all of the hottest topics of the day. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.